Hello and welcome to the May monthly update for the Tao Chain video updates. Um, so I'm Fola and you're here with my colleagues. I'm going to name everyone because there's so many of us now. But I hope you're all doing very well in this in this time. Um, so we do have some updates this month. Um, I'm going to pass it on to Karim to give you his update and we'll go through as usual. Thank you. Good morning, Fola, and uh, thank you. Uh, I've uh, joined the team, as I said, during the last uh, video on uh, May 1st. And uh, since then, I've had the pleasure of speaking to the entire team at least uh, once, if not more. And uh, let me say that I'm very impressed by the breadth and the depth of uh, uh, knowledge and experience uh, of the team that Fola and Ahad have uh, put together here. And um, the, 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 the work on the core uh, TML uh, language uh, is uh, progressing. Uh, very well, Umar, Thomas, and Dragging are uh, working on that uh, right now with uh, significant uh, support from uh, from Ohad uh, because of uh, some uh, strong uh, theoretical issues. Ohad also is uh, collaborating with uh, Avishai on a, on a daily basis uh, regarding some very thorny uh, theoretical and uh, uh, technical, very complicated issues. So. Um, I'm uh, trying to keep up with, uh, with them on that front. Uh, while the most exciting development is happening on the uh, Agora Live, uh, we'll see a demo next, uh, perhaps from Moaz, on uh, what he's done uh, the latest uh, on, the, on the website, while Andre is working on the back end, and Juan is uh, working on the, uh, on the payment API. Uh, Fola, as you know, you and I are working on the long term uh, development uh, plan, and uh, uh, Ohad and I are uh, cooperating on uh, some uh, strategic uh, initiatives as well. That's uh, that's it for me. Nice, and uh, it's great to have had you on board. And uh, thank you. Or to you, uh, you know, working with us a long time and uh, it's good times. So I'm going to throw it over to Umar to give you his updates and what he's been up to this month. So um, I've been uh, working uh, on uh, uh, how the uh, proof uh, logic and the proof engine works within the TML. That's the core of the TML. And one of the goals we have is uh, how we can uh, extract uh, uh, this uh, proof in a form and shape that it can be further processed. And one of the representation of that is to visualize that uh, proof derivation in the form of a tree or a group of trees called a forest. Um, so our goal is um, if we can, um, uh, once the TML runs and it, it uh, drives a certain uh, inference uh, in the form of uh, goals, how we can uh, relate uh, these goals and its components in the form of a tree so that we can reason about it, we can verify it, and if we want, we can further transform it into other shapes. So this month, uh, mainly I've been looking into some issues there. We, we discovered a few uh, bugs. Um, we found out there are some um, improvements to be made. And uh, I have started laying out some of the, um, the structures and the functions uh, that will evolve in the uh, in future. But we are we are we have an approach where how we're gonna extract the forest out of the proof. Uh, fantastic! Thanks so much, Umar. Um, sounds like a lot of work's been done there. Um, it's always interesting to read in the Slack as well. Um, so uh, I'm gonna throw it over to uh, Killian for his update this month. Yes. Hello, everybody. Um, so the past month I've been working mainly on uh, developing that network of partner universities. Um, there we have um, as an update. So first we focused more on the German universities as well as Switzerland. And we got three universities that actually uh, showed interest in col collaborating. Um, one is um, the university in Stuttgart, um, yeah, where we could um, offer internships as well as topics for the um, uh, 
bachelor thesis as well as master thesis topics um, to the students and we are also being added to the uh, website so students can reach out directly to us and we could also um, become invited as guests um, to become a speaker um, in front of the students at the university at least when the corona time has been uh, settled down um, yeah, they also have um, working groups where we also can uh, participate in. Another university is the one in Luzern, Switzerland, where we um, got a form that we can fill out, um, where that will also be, be where we also will be able to provide the students with research topics for their thesis. And the other university is also a German one, the technical technical. University of Mittelhessen, where there is a professor that is um, focused on partial evaluation. And yeah, um, Ohad uh, was also on the call when I talked, or when Ohad mainly uh, led the conversation with that professor. Um, and they had a really deep discussion about uh, yeah, partial evaluation. And um, there was a lot of uh, overlap in interests, and the, the professor mentioned that they are very interested in um, yeah, getting involved with us and um, providing his students with topics, with research topics that um, we can also benefit from. So we will have to wait like two weeks to get uh, to hear from him. But yeah, um, I also talked with uh, Professor Kami from our team um, because he really knows uh, in depth how to work with universities and how life with universities is um, and he suggested that instead of just going uh, doing outreach to German and Switzerland based universities to rather go into developing countries and um, like for example India or generally Asian or African and uh, South American uh, universities where we would have a higher chance of um, yeah gauging interest for our project um, without having to also spend maybe a lot of money like if we would have want to gauge interest from Oxford or some other reputation uh, reputable universities so yeah that's what I also want to um, do next month not just to reach out to German and Switzerland based universities but to rather also focus on these developing countries. Um, a part of that, I've also done some cleanup on our Twitter feed. We've been following more than 4,000 people there. And it was quite difficult to um, obtain valuable information within the feed, within the Twitter feed that we could share. So I've been cleaning um, that um, feed out so that in the end we only follow relevant people where we can actually share content and develop relationships with uh, yeah, reporters in the, in the topics that we are interested in. Um, yeah, another thing uh, I worked on was uh, digging into possible tribe channels. Fola mentioned that it would be nice if we could find these places online where we actually find communities that have a lot of overlap in what we are uh, in the topics that we are actually uh, researching so I found some research groups especially in the fields of um, computational linguistics I think it was yeah and um, yeah KRR I also have to dig deeper into but yeah generally we are looking for these um, universities or uh, sorry not universities um, like uh, yeah, communities where um, we can actually tap into. So also if you as a community member have any idea, definitely reach out to us. If you think you know where there's a certain uh, community that we could tap into. Um, yeah, that's it for me so far. And thank you. Thank you so much, Killian. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask Moaz for his updates and uh, Hopefully, you know, you guys can see a little bit of the Agoras platform. And now, a little, uh, m most of what uh, Moaz has worked on is, and you know, it's obviously not going to stay exactly like as it is, but um, 
it's a it's a good outline in terms of you know the direction of the website um we also spoke today about a lot of changes that you know we're going to make but um it's a really really good outline so far um so please my eyes drop this so i was saying that uh, the last month uh, i've been working on uh, in parallel with, for uh, for the agora's life and also the website and um, i will share my screen and show you uh, the results so far so uh, basically i was uh, talking with uh, with uh, fola just just right before this call i was showing showing him the the, the progress on the the blog or the, the let's say the publications page and this is like a, a kind of a snippet we see a featured featured blog post and it also you can see like uh, popular things from our blog and when you, see, when you click on here you will see the entire thing from like uh, from the, the blog also here you can see our public statements where you see you can we are emphasizing only one, one like one main public statement and you can see like other public statements and also you can subscribe to our newsletter if you have, if you have it in the future. And also we have like, we had like a round of comments from uh, like Fola that I will be including like in the next update. And here's like the, this is like the single page of the, pro of the blog post. And this is like the regular thing where you can see comments, you can see like I can add images, I can see text uh, in the blog post. Also, another thing that uh, is like for the, let's say for the uh, white paper, we discussed that we need to add a, a kind of a navigator in the, in the blog post for long, for long publications like white papers or those kind of like, we have like a, a large amount of text that the user need like a kind of a navigator to navigate between the paragraphs. And uh, this is like the initial, uh, the initial pattern or the initial concept that I came, I came up with you. So we came up with, so we, uh, the user can uh, can easily like uh, uh, click on the specific, uh, let's say, a specific text or a specific paragraph, and he would be navigated to this specific paragraph. Uh, and this like this should be sticky and it would be like let's say floating when he's scrolling so he can easily uh, while he's reading he can navigate to another section and with like uh, with the with the discussion with Fola uh, we will be changing it to something like similar but in another like uh, form and uh, for the uh, the company page I was thinking that we can add something like uh, a, a bit of text about the company and like kind of a motto uh, for the company or how or how we're going to present the company and the number of employees or like numbers of the team inside the company uh, and how many products we have currently uh, launched or working on inside the company and kind of like images or photos from the company and me the team is kind of a section uh, so we can present our team and each like uh, with each one of them is like the title or the uh, let's say the job title of the the member and i was discussing with the follow that uh, as as the the the, the blog post and uh, uh, the team will be like kind of interconnected so um, the user can either click on one of the like team members he can easily see the the, the the single page of the team member with like posts that he has written like in the, in the platform so this is like so far the like the updates and the and the um, website i wasn't like really working on the mainly on the website of the id and i was mainly focusing on more on the uh, agora's life so i will show you guys uh, like the updates on birth life this is like the second draft of the um, agora's life uh, after like the the last uh, the last round of comments from fola uh, he was talking to me like uh, that we need to add kind of like content in the homepage and that we don't need like a mark and make it um, as a marketing website so, or like um, a landing page. So uh, we will need to get the user involved uh, from like the first uh, look. So um, I was thinking that we can do something like uh, uh, showing showing the talents or showing the 
service providers and we, I, call the, I call them here talents. We can change the, the cup writing after that. And uh, like a couple of videos and each one of them will have like a video and the, the, the image of the, of the user and uh, also the, the, let's say the job title he picked uh, when he, he was re registering in the platform. And also the rating, as I was discussing that we can add like kind of star rating and the number of uh, users who actually rated the, this user. So the user, like the, the, the guest user, can easily see like who is, who is inside the platform and who is going to like provide services for, or like provide knowledge to them. So, and also you can play the, the video, like we also discussed that we will need, or we add kind of like introductory video for each user or each service provider. So this is kind of reflected here. So each each service provider can upload a video introducing himself or themselves. So uh, when he uh, uploaded this video, it will be reflected here. It's kind of similar pattern to YouTube. So it's kind of like, uh, or kind of uh, uh, this pattern. So um, also here, the user, like even the guest user can see browse talents and he can also go for the flow of like filtering talents and and like the, the, the moment he's going to take an action, that's when like a bubble of uh, uh, like asking the user to register or uh, to so he can like uh, pursue for further actions. So I was thinking like adding trending categories or like topics, whatever we're going to call it, uh, things like let's say lifestyle or science, whatever like um, it's kind of like the doctor, doctors or like let's say psychiatry or uh, um, all the, all those kind of categories, different categories that we can have on the website as services uh, goes like around. So uh, the second thing is like uh, the flow of the registration. So um, I was thinking like to make it more of like conversation between the user and also the the, the platform. It's not like just straightforward for the, the the information. So any like kind of users. Uh, from from like high level or uh, pro users with the internet to like or users with with uh, very low low knowledge with the internet can also can easily sign in with the platform as also Andrew was uh, saying uh, like in the last uh, uh, month with that we need like to add Facebook or Google etc of these like social networks uh, registration in the platform and uh, the user can uh, can either pick to continue with Facebook or Google. Or, either, or to continue with his email, where he can put his, uh, or enter his email and then create on the account. And if he, he has already an account, he can click on the sign in. So, and also in this section, like a visual section, I tried to, to uh, present kind of like uh, the personas inside the platform. So the user can see uh, exactly how like the projection or live examples of, uh, who are using the uh, platform currently or how we can benefit from the platform and uh, let's say the user clicks on like facebook and they go into a, a, a like uh, got the authentication from facebook and they got back here so the user will ask him like if this is the, the, the right uh, user and if he's like uh, he entered the, uh, the the password he clicks on continue so uh, uh, I was going also to, to make it like more of a conversation. So uh, it, it's going to say like, hello, Alex, like the first name of the user and uh, ask him it, so, uh, to specify uh, wh what he wants exa exactly to do with the platform. So either he wants to, to share knowledge and uh, also seek others knowledge. So uh, basically that I'm, I'm going to be a service seeker and also service provider. And or or I want to also or only to be a service uh, ask also only for services. So I'm not interested in uh, in providing my services in the platform. So uh, if if I clicked on I want to share my knowledge and seek others knowledge and click on continue, which is in this flow, uh, that will navigate me to this uh, like this steps. So the first steps of the setup that I need to uh, specify language and also the, the country I live in for like filtration purposes, purposes afterwards. And when the user clicks on next, he, uh, he will need like to enter uh, kind of like the expertise of uh, the user. So I, I, I'm expert, expert in the industry, gym, programming, et cetera, of this like 
specific uh, areas. I was also discussing with uh, Fola that we uh, we can add like kind of uh, uh, if the user is, is multiple personas or the user has like multiple talents in different things, and uh, we uh, we like we agreed that in the future we we can have something similar to our work. We have uh, we, we have kind of like um, uh, let the user create multiple like personas or multiple like profiles for each like profession. And this is like for future purposes. But for now, the user can only select the area of expertise, enter the summary, like describing the professional experience of the user. And also a thing that will like ease up on the user or make it like seamless, which is like importing from LinkedIn, like the entire like education experience, which like will make it a shortcut. So if the user clicks on like import from LinkedIn, it will automatically be imported, uh, which will be redirected to LinkedIn, and then import the information from LinkedIn. This is like the first state. And here, if the, uh, the user clicks on adding like uh, education, education like uh, milestone, uh, the user will enter the details here and click on save. And this is like the preview of the, the, the of the, like the degree he added. And if yeah, you want to add experience, also yeah, you enter the data of the experience and then click on save. And you have like, I added both of them, you can click on next. And also here you want like, we, we want them to specify the things that he uh, is interested in. If, so I, I will ask him like, start following specific topics. Um, this is like kind of things that we will uh, show them, uh, show the users in the like feed of like job posts, so uh, that things that we will be interested in, and then he, when he clicks on the finish setup, uh, he will have a kind of the similar thing to the, the like the guest user, but but with with the different with uh, extra things. So he uh, he will see like my posts, so he can see posts he posted uh, by himself, he can see talent uh, or job feeds, and also he can add a new post from here, and he can see like the the, the balance in his uh, wallet. And notifications and profile and if there is anything like up uh, in his in his like updates you can i can easily see the updates and like yeah you got three bettings in your uh, like new job post so so far this is like the second iteration and i think uh, Paula has also seen that like the first iteration so uh, and like i hope in this and uh, through this month i will uh, try to finish like uh, uh, hopefully the entire uh, product design of uh, Agora's life. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited to be like, uh, continue working with like Agora's life and how it's like, going to impact the uh, lives of, uh, of people around the world. Thank you. Awesome. Very, very cool. Um, nice to see all those updates. Um, yeah, very, very cool. Um, what we're also thinking of doing is splitting the calls up um, between uh, maybe more product development um, and, uh, sorry, design and sort of, uh, 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 you know, sort of TML and sort of design. And so maybe me, Killian and Moaz would do a separate video call um, and, and everyone else would do um, a, a, a sort of a video call more, more focused on sort of TML and things like that. And um, that's something we're thinking of doing as well. Uh, so um, I am going to ask Andre for his updates this month. Actually, no, sorry, Tomás for his updates this month. So hello, everyone. Uh, this month, uh, I've been working on uh, TML persistence. Uh, right now, I'm working on the most difficult part of persistence, and it is a serialization of pointers. Uh, like BDD handles, for example. And once the pointer serialization is finished, uh, we would be able to do full serialization of TML's runtime. And this serialization would allow alpha server or the bot to remember things between uh, restarts or uh, in a case of crash. And uh, yeah, recently, I've also found a library uh, called uh, MMS. Uh, it was created by Dmitry Prokopchev uh, in Yandex. 
and uh, he uses an uh, interesting approach to serializing, serializing in uh, pointer arithmetic. So I'm also exploring the library and trying to understand how it is implemented. And uh, I've also done some work on how TML reads uh, processes and maps input sources. So it can be better serialized or uh, you don't have to allocate the memory. So that is all, that is all for, for me this month. All right, so I am going to put it over to Andre for his updates this month. Okay, hello everyone. Mm. What I left uh, last month uh, was uh, our uh, MVP for Agora slides I was building on the backend and frontend side based on uh, some already uh, created template. Uh, so we'll continue where I left off and let me show you the progress. Okay. So uh, we have all the people who wants to share with uh, some knowledge uh, services or whatever. Uh, suppose I want to talk to Albert Einstein. I click, but I, mm, I'm not logged in. For example, I'm a new user uh, and I want to log in. It checks that I'm a new user. Uh, you just confirm your password and uh, go for registration, but I'll use already known to your user uh, it's um, it's me so uh, we want to call um, we want to call Albert Einstein let's do it for example I can uh, I can arrange a call for uh, some other day uh, as we see, he already has some meetings and he is not available on Wednesday, for example, on Friday. But uh, as we see, he is online, so we can call him right now to Albert Einstein. Wow. Uh, so let's do it. Oops, I forgot to add money to my account. So I need to go to my wallet. Uh, the part that uh, Juan is doing uh, currently, so it's not connected to some external external exchange, uh, but suppose it is, so we deposit a small amount of money. Mm, no, not enough. Yeah, yeah. So we deposited some money. We can go back to our uh, call with Albert Einstein. Uh, he's online. We make a call. And we can send him tips if we like uh, if we like uh, what he's doing. Uh, we uh, will wait the, for the connection. Just give it some time. I hope it will work with my other camera. I hope. Yeah. 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 This is not uh, really Albert Einstein. It's uh, uh, depressing crusher, but uh, suppose <laughs> it's Albert Einstein. So we have a call. As you see, we have uh, money floating, duration floating. We can send him some tips uh, or even custom tips. Uh, so we talk to Albert Einstein. This is very beautiful. We end the call. Uh, wait a sec. Yeah. And uh, this is sum up of the call. We can set him a rating. Uh, he was great. Uh, great. And that's it. Uh, what uh, uh, I left is uh, I need to uh, create a separate uh, infrastructure for uh, questions. For example, you have a questions, you have all these people who can help you and you want to pose that question and uh, uh, ask uh, and see if somebody can help you. And uh, as uh, Albert Einstein, you can, for example, browse for uh, mathematical questions and uh, apply for an answer. As, uh, as example, this is what I work on next month. So that's pretty much it. We have everyone we need. Thank you. It's just fascinating to see that progress over time and seeing both yours and Moaz's in parallel is really, really cool. 
Um, so I'm going to pass it over to Juan for what he's been up to this month. So hi everybody. Uh, so this month, um, yeah, the focus was mostly on the Agora Slide side. Uh, I've been addressing, uh, as uh, Karim mentioned earlier, I have been addressing the payment subsystem that will be the backbone that will allow the micro payments between the service providers and the clients on Agora Slide. Um, we initially plan to use a, a really state-of-the-art implementation of the Lightning Network. Uh, so we have been uh, upgrading it uh, to make it work with the Agora's tokens. Uh, the initial yeah, the initial test showed that we could uh, we could get a, a sort of a fast implementation, but we we soon soon found some blocking issues on the addressing formats. So basically what we have been dealing with is uh, from, uh, we have been dealing with a, a switch between the uh, uh, native segre segregated witness addresses, which are named under the name of BCH32, -E uh, so we have been switching from them towards an embedded uh, pay to uh, script hash uh, segregated witness that will uh, allow the uh, implementation of the protocols that we need to, uh, to run uh, on top of uh, the Omni layer that is supporting the Agora's tokens. Uh, in that way, we will be, uh, yeah, we will have uh, our own implementation of these uh, smart contracts or payment channels that we will be requiring for Agora's live uh, uh, monetary side. Uh, the, that took most of the energy this month. So hopefully in the coming weeks, we, will, uh, we are on a uh, middle, middle stage, I think. Uh, so hopefully during the coming month, we will uh, get the, the fully initial uh, implementation of this feature pushed into TML development. Uh, so that's mostly on my side by now. Thanks. Excellent, thank you very much, Juan. All right, and on to my updates. So, uh, as you've heard from Oaz and Killian, I've been working with them and pretty much the entire team really just um, quarterbacking their efforts, their gallant efforts. Um, uh, you know, working with Moaz on the website, um, really looking forward to, uh, you know, showing you guys the progress that happens this month. Um, should be a lot of um, big changes. Um, really should get that website looking, uh, yeah, really looking, you know, like it's uh, how we really, really want it to look. Because um, we're taking so many ideas from so many different sources in terms of how the website can look. And um, we're just trying to put that, you know, get everything down first and then sort of lift and take from here and there and basically make it all fit. So this is kind of like the fitting process um, that will happen over this month and the coloring and getting the right colors in place and then um we've still got to do things like you know get you know decide whether well decide how we're going to portray some elements whether we're going to use um videos or we're going to use um like animations and things like that and what kind of design um illustrations if we do use any um uh you know what kind of illustrations we use if any um and on top of that I've been working on the Tau on Agora's logos. Now, now, I've wanted to show you guys an update on this, but I'm, I'm afraid I can't. Um, one of the things about doing a logo design is that you don't really know when it's gonna end, do you? So, you know, we just keep bashing and bashing and bashing and bashing. We've had uh, so many interesting ideas come from so many different people. Um, our team have had some really interesting ideas. Um, the designers brought back something really, really cool as well. Um, it's just one of those things where, you know, as I mentioned at the beginning of this year, um, this is kind of like a, an overhaul of everything from last year. Um, so new design, you know, building the team and just basically taking everything into that next era of ID&I and the products and projects that we work on. Um, 
so you want to be really really happy with it you know sometimes you just have to keep working on certain things um so the Tau and agora's logos are still in uh in the making um hopefully i can produce something for you i'm not too sure maybe this month. maybe the end of next month i can start to get some uh ideas out um visible for you guys to look at but i'm sure you'll find them very very cool um you know we're all really really happy with the idni logo and how that one went um though it took a little while longer than we wanted to we're very happy when you know it's something that it can translate into so many different substrates whether it's printed on clothing printing on books and to a pen and it's just out of a building we're very happy with that logo i mean that's what exactly what we want for the rest of the logos that we have um for the rest of the projects that we work on um and getting these three right really helps get everything else right in the future as well the design for um agora's live um just everything that we do so it's very very important uh, on top of that, I've been working on sort of the legal ramifications of um, Agora's Live and using the service providers that we that we use. Um, uh, we're going to be speaking to the uh, well, one of the lawyers, law firms that we have um, for this type of work uh, with our had tomorrow, namely around. Um, encrypted messaging and uh content how we handle content and you know and, and the terms of service over the platform so a couple of things to discuss there and still things to iron out um i'm sure there'll be more things in the future uh also again exchanges but um on the uh as it relates to both for the agora's token and uh you know where it's where you guys can trade it and also as it relates to the Agora's Live platform. So we're not going to be uh, selling um, the Agora's token over the platform ourselves. Um, and we don't sell any Agora's tokens whatsoever um, over Agora's Live. The way you'll be able to purchase Agora's, to um, Agora's tokens over Agora's Live platform is that you will have some kind of platform or connector to an exchange. So that's something I'll be working on as well getting that connectivity between um you know the, the the front end and the exchange uh making that, all, that that whole thing happen uh nice and smoothly so you can deposit and withdraw nice and smoothly um on top of that in my spare time i still work on things like um you know key people key figures you know great people to have on board or have nearby the company um such as people who are involved in krr ai computational ling ling linguistics kind of say the word linguistics um and uh you know key organizations developer relations just people and and you know just just familiarizing myself with the what we'll need to make this whole project grow to what we want where we want it to be um another area as well um i'll be working alongside killian with is um related to the agora's live platform which is you know something that Moaz touched on briefly but when we launch the platform we do want people there already so when you go to the home page you can immediately start to use it um we don't just want a sign up where you know you have to just you know it's like a splash page and you have to get through the whole sign up process we want people to see how that platform actually looks you know we want people to have content there content provider not content providers so service providers um you know ready to use the platform um, I'm ready to offer service over the platform and, you know, um, just have a, a, a base there already. So I'll be, you know, figuring out a strategy for that uh, with Killian over this month as well. Um, beyond that, uh, you know, everything that we've been doing um, internally has just been sort of uh, making things a little bit smoother. Um, so on our side as well, making sure that our internal conversations are much more fluid um shortening things so that uh you know people only need to be on the right calls and just making sure that you know as our team's growing that we're not um spending too much time unnecessarily and really trying to just make everything internally quite efficient um and I, we've seen from this call and how we've kind of ch changed a few things internally that um i think things are just a lot easier right now and will continue to get easier which is great um especially as our team grows.
so um, that's me. Over to Ahad. Thank you very much. And hello, everyone. And uh, Dragan, uh, this must continue working on compound terms and also uh, some various bug fixes. Um, I've been working um, especially with uh, Professor Carney. Um, I was uh, helping him in, with the white paper and he was helping me with the ongoing research. As you know, we have the three laws of laws and those three laws of laws are just the tip of a new iceberg. There is a whole theory of law here, mathematical theory, philosophical theory, any way you look at it. And I'm very happy that uh, Professor Carney wants to, in the white paper, to come, come up with, with a well-established theory of this matter. And um, we were also working on the ongoing research of the mathematical aspects of logic. And from an analysis point of view, uh, so-called reproducing Kernel-Hilbert spaces, and also from combinatorial point of view, mainly the field of generating functions, and also how this all corres corresponds with the uh, finite set theory. Um, this is uh, yet another way to, to think about uh, generic solvers, but also uh, TML in particular. Um, I still need to finalize my theory of um, solving a um, system of equations where the unknown are um, complemented equivalence relations. And this uh, can also um, be a very significant um, improvement to current solvers, but I didn't get to finalize this uh, this month. I really hope I will do it next month. And that's all for now. Excellent. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, so, uh, as uh, as Killian said, if you if you guys do want to get involved, if you do have any uh, methods of uh, assisting on uh, Killian's endeavours, please drop us a note in the uh, uh, Telegram channel. Um, but uh, for now, uh, we thank you. Those are our updates, and we are on to the Q and A questions. One question has to do with has been in the survey, what is uh, BDD? Like somebody was asking, so maybe yes. um, that if you could explain that in a simple way for the community, I think they would like to. Yes, um, binary decision diagram BDD. Um, it is, and uh, its name suggests that it is a decision diagram which is binary at each point, we have a yes, no question, and we flow the, the decision tree. Um, and this name really does no justice as, at all to BDDs, because BDDs are interesting for all reasons, except of being decision diagrams. The real utility of uh, BDDs can be seen in two equivalent ways. One way, is to represent Boolean functions. It is the, it was the first and still virtually the only known way um, to canonically represent Boolean functions. Canonically means that if the representation, if they are equal, um, then the representation is always the same. They are also very convenient when it comes to negation. Other normal forms of Boolean functions like conjunctive normal forms, dis disjunctive normal forms, um, behave very badly when you try to negate uh, the formula. Um, but in TML, TML is all about negation. If you compare it to data log, it's all about negation. So we surely need um, an efficient negation. In addition, one major practical difference between 
practical implementation detail between data log and TML is that on TML, you must remember all the previous states of the computation. So um, at first sight, it, it can be insane amount of memory. Um, far from practical and not only memory also the the process of comparing to each previous step it's just horrendous but thanks to the canonicity of bdds we can do it very fast because each step is is canonically identified by a simple number and this is one aspect of bdds the second which is boolean functions the second aspect of BDDs, which is a quick, completely equivalent, any Boolean function or any BDD, which are the same, can be seen as a set of bit strings, a set of binary strings, which is simply the set of binary strings that make the formula true. So internally in TML, what we do is we all the tables that uh, the TML got, we convert them to binary tables, namely we make the data only zero and ones. We can do it because the universe size is fixed, or at least known at each step. So each set of tuples is a BDD, is one Boolean function. And with BDDs, we can efficiently perform union intersection and complementation of such sets. By that, in contrast to other solvers, um, they work tap tuple by tuple, but as we said, one BDD is the whole table. So everything is processed in so-called batch mode. You process the whole table at once, while it remains in a compressed form. You don't need to decompress it in order to do this processing, and this is indeed yet another aspect of BDDs that in many cases they provide um, sometimes unimaginable compression. Things that cannot phys possibly physically feed the, the universe, sometimes of course not always, BDD can still feed them very succinctly. Um, so we have a question by the name of A. They ask, Hi, when can we see the white paper? Are there any main problems encountered with the development of the project? What can the community do to speed up the progress? Can we safely say that it's just a matter of time before the team is able to reach its milestones? How is second order logic progressing? And uh, great effort with the team. Keep safe. Cheers. Yeah, that was a multi-parter, so I'll see if I can get through it. So. Uh, the white paper is still in progress. It's very, very challenging to give an exact date on that. Um, but Professor Kami um, is working very, very hard on that one. Um, are there any problems encountered with the, with the development of the project? Um, as I had noted, what he's working on um, during uh, his uh, updates, um, he's got a couple of tricky and very challenging things to get over, but. Uh, uh, you know that that's uh, you know going to be solved during his research. Um, what can the community do to help speed up the progress? Um, well, there's certainly a lot of ways that the community can get community can get involved. Um, we are thinking of uh, putting together a bounty program. Pro program um, that's something that you can speak to Killian with uh, Killian about. Sorry, um, so he's going to be sort of spearheading that. Uh, can we safely say that it's just a matter of time before the team reaches milestones? Absolutely. Um, absolutely. And again, on second law logic progressing, um, that's a question that we've answered in previous Q and A's and I had just touched on in much more depth um, in the previous Q and A. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you. And we have a question by Antonio. Will you continue to use the Omni layer for Agora's tokens? We do foresee um, there'll be a change in the future. Obviously, we'll need to go to our mainnet. Um, but uh, you know, whether we have something in the middle of that um, is, is uh, not entirely decided at the moment. 
All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Q&A. As we mentioned earlier during the video call, uh, we definitely want you guys to be involved. Please reach out to Killian if you do want to get involved. Um, you can find him in the Discord. You can find him in the Telegram. Um, he's going to be working on some bounty ideas as well for the community. Um, and uh, as we release this Agoras live platform, we definitely want people to be signed up before launch. So um, that's something that we were, were, were going to be, uh, you know, collecting some uh, uh, initial users um, to use the platform, a place where we're going to be collecting some initial users. Sorry. Um, yeah. So, so, uh, you know, do reach out to Killian because, you know, you can, you can certainly get involved in, in all of those things. All right. Thank you so much. Cheers.